Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Age of Wonders. My name is Zack and mating dance. Vigorous choruses of mating calls churn the hot night as lizardmen start the work of inhabiting their ancient abode. It is sweet music. Each discharge of musk means more warriors. Warriors which will owe their blissful upbringing to me. The primal state of these swamps leaves me pondering my own condition. The lizard hatchling starts small and vulnerable, darting amid the reeds, hoping to escape the notice of larger predators until they can grow and learn. I have long been Meandor's prey, but I foresee change. A time when the hatchling, which was once prey, becomes a predator. Well, now that we've liberated uh, the lizard hatchling land, we can have a look at this information. And I just realized this is here. High men, elves, dwarves, goblins, lizardmen, orcs. Looks like uh, we should be moving on further east because we're all heading to the elven court over here in the Valley of Wonders. But never mind, we don't have a choice this time. We're heading up to the Serpent River. Prospecting the Serpent River, since Inyok was deposed, nearly every race from Azrak pirates to self-righteous elves have sought control of the Serpent River. It is only natural the lizards lust after the twisted waterway. Regulating passage of merchant vessels would be a fine resource. What better species to monitor the safe travels of vessels than the lizardmen? Unfortunately, a few troublemakers don't see it as clearly as I do, and so I will need to clear the surrounding jungle of dissenters before the lizards can claim this new enterprise. I'm more than happy to indulge this favor for a price. Alright, looks like we're going to be taking over this Serpent River waterway, and again we have quite a few things to bring with us. Ah, this, this chest plate is so expensive though. But I really want to keep this stuff with me. These two shields. And to bring with me, I guess I'll just bring some Orc Heavy Cavalry. Oh no, I, I can't afford that. I gotta bring... Uh, I gotta bring Shy Egg Buster. If I remove this, if I add my chest plate, I'm not going to be able to bring much else. I can't even afford to bring the shield. Then again, that just protects against... Uh, ooh, the weapons. I really want to bring this halberd, but... Uh, I guess defense is more important. But if I remove this, I can bring a lot more with me, which might make it more worthwhile. I'll bring the halberd with me to protect myself because that first strike acts as a defense and then I will bring in as much heavy cavalry as I can afford and that should do. Oh, I could bring it along Shai's weapon as well. All this heavy cavalry will really help in the early game and doesn't seem like I can afford much else with 39 points, I'm gonna have to leave this chest plate behind, unfortunately. At this stage of the game, 420 is just too much to bring along. And I guess I'll start off with a bit of extra gold. And we can then head on into the game. Dwarves locate the Hall of Heroes, the leg legendary Bormac returns, was it? Anyway, day one, let the game begin! Now let's see where we are. It seems like we're still the lizard people here. And Shy Eggbusters there. And we have... Considering these are lizard people, we could actually send... Let's have a look at this tower first. We can send people right across here, no problem, and start getting that stuff. So let's cross over. I'd like to stay out of the water in case something weird shows up. And then I can send this frog person down to get that. I'll send the swordsman to grab this mine. Shai can join us and we can just go ahead and take this city on the first turn. We'll automatic this battle because I don't think we'll lose anyone. Nope. Barely any damage. And I guess uh, we'll keep this shaman nearby in case we need any healing. 
And this person can remain to defend the city. And considering I have some gold, let's just go ahead and fortify this from the start. That looks good. And, oh, before I forget, I want to summon a great eagle if I can. Oh, I can't afford it. 19, I need 38. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait a few turns for that. Maybe I should bring some mana with me next time. Ah, Shy made a level, and I think I'm gonna give Shy either archery or poison darts. Let's see, poison darts is also 10. Um, I think I'll give Shy poison darts because it just suits the personality better and gives a nice ranged attack to do when we don't have any mana left. So let's do that. We'll continue on down this way because once we get that city, we'll have a bit of extra to go around. Let's see. That puts us a little in debt, but no problem. We can grab that. And we can grab this stuff over here. And that puts us back in the green. Now, we should um, continue exploring, really. This goblin city is kind of trapped here. Uh, ooh, my vision range is actually quite far. But we have enough to cast Summon Great Eagle which instantly gives us the eagle. Now, we have two choices, down here or towards the east. I guess I could send the eagle down, just to see what's going on. Ah, a human city, which we could also recruit on the next turn. But it looks like it is pretty much a dead end, so I'm gonna send my main army down this way. As you can see, that vision range increases uh, quite good. Ooh, who is this? Thorak and Askthor the Unholy. Now, who are we fighting on this mission? Thorak, he's right here. Ooh, if we could kill him right here, right now, that would be very nice. Oh, we the orcs shall utterly destroy any sign of the lizards. Well, I guess they just declared war on us and looks like they're pretty heavily defended. So I might need some time to uh, build up my army. Let's see, what do we have here? A lot of heavy cavalry. I'd like to bring some of these human soldiers over to these locales. Uh, if I just bring... Let's see. I'll use a swordsman to grab this stuff on this side. And the rest of you guys are going to join up with my army as we'll need quite a bit to defeat Thorak over here. And my eagle can continue flying south, actually. I want to see what's down here. Ooh, what's that? An altar of life shoots forth a powerful ray of holy power. Wow, okay. I want to capture that or destroy it, if possible. Uh, which will be a good idea to protect myself. Let's grab that. And keep sending our army up. I think if we bring our soldiers along, we could take out Thorak pretty early on in the game. Oh, what? Troubled and weary, these abandon your ranks? What? Why did everyone just abandon... That's not good. Um, well, I'm dead. <laughs> Let's reload that. Okay, what I'm guessing is that I can't use Orc soldiers at all anymore because they keep running away from me. So I'm gonna bring what I can here, but it gives me a lot of points to bring my items. And it looks like I'm not gonna be able to start with uh, a nice army anymore until I build up some proper defenses. But I could bring along all of my stuff at least, all of these things here. So that gives me uh, more powerful me, but no army to start with, which means I'm going to have to spend some time uh, building up an army. So let's start with some mana, and the rest of it is going to be gold. Okay, so I'm going to start like this, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, I could br give, me a, give myself this wolf rider. don't really need so much gold. Let's take this wolf rider with us as well. And we'll start like this. So, uh, much smaller army. Let me self set myself up once again. Oh, for now the orcs agree to work without conflict with the lizards. Um, wow, okay. So they're not 
Okay, except... We regret our pre your presence here leaves us no choice but to mobilize for war. Okay, so the elves have declared war, but this time... The orcs have decided not to fight me right away. I wonder why the change... Um, okay, so let's exit that. And it seems like this group here... We probably can't take that on, but I would like to grab this altar. Oh no, we can't grab the altar without fighting that thing. Um, we could just continue traveling south. I don't think that altar is going to cause us too much problems as of right now. Oh, who is that? Daktor the Deathbringer. The undead are here as well. Wow, okay, so we're fighting a lot of people in this mission. But for now, I want to build up a nice army and just kind of uh, start killing people, really. Oh, we the undead shall utterly destroy any sign of the lizards. Ah, well, the undead are gonna come kill us as well, huh? Looks like they're pretty powerful, though. I'm just scouting my way down this river and, ooh, a death note's there, which I could actually use. Uh, but I also summoned another great eagle to go ahead and scout eastwards so I can see what we're up against. And what's that sign say? Only the strong will survive. Very well. Um, well, we're just running right through orc territory here. And because they've declared peace, Thorak, is that the, the guy in charge? Thorak? Yes. He's been left rather undefended. If I run up to him, I could probably kill him no problem. I just have to sneak up to him without him noticing, really. But let's grab this city here as well. And we can bring our lizard man over. We'll leave this... Uh... These guys are kind of... Uh... I'd like to disband these goblin bombers. Because they're... Kind of just taking up gold. Oh, really? Ah, oh, jeez. Or maybe we can use our bombs against their bombs. Okay, that didn't work so well. But um, we're more into the green. <laughs> I guess uh, don't just disband your troops, they will come attack you. Okay. Uh, well, let's keep exploring and see if we can kill Thorak here without any problems. Alright, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna break my peace treaty and just go ahead and attack these guys. Uh, so I'm gonna send myself in... Oh, not at war with the orcs. Okay, let's go to relations. Can we declare war instantly? Yes, we can. Uh, Thorak of the orcs, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Yep. And let's send in... Or just to be safe, I'm gonna send in the wolf rider. No? How do we attack this? Oh, we have to attack here, is it? There we go. Let's just automatic this fight. It's just the main group there. Ooh, we do cast spells in automatic fights. Two chain lightnings, nice. Uh, ooh, death ray. Ooh, don't kill Shy. Come on, die, Thorak. Aha, nice death ray to the face. And Thorak is defeated on day five, Emperor of the Orcs. Well, the sign there says only the strong will survive, so take that. Um, do I own the city? Status war mode. Wow, no one owns a city, but there are um, some people. There's two factions residing in the city, so it's considered war mode, right? Okay, and uh, ooh, this Aztor, the unholy, is still wandering around, though. That's not good. Um, I guess we'll just resolve this fight on the next turn. Come on, let's uh take them out. We can just automatic this fight. Yep, stun them and finish them off. There we go. Uh, ooh, the halflings. We regret your presence here leaves us no choice but to mobilize for war. Okay, uh, so basically I don't have any friends here. Uh, orcs are enslaved, so I guess orcs really don't like me anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to migrate humans, because humans have been getting along with me fine. Goblins and lizards are fine, so let's migrate humans. And fully garrison the city because it's a size 4 and can easily overthrow us. Meanwhile, I'll use my... What should I use? I'll use um, this guy. 
to start grabbing things from around here. Oh, may Azrax everywhere benefit from a long and profitable peace with all lizards. Okay, Brack of the Azrax, we'll accept that. Um, maybe you didn't hear about my relationship with the orcs. <laughs> uh, well, let's exit diplomacy. Because I found this little desert area up here. I guess that's where the Azrax are. I'm gonna grab this. And, ooh, a wind thing. I'm gonna send this bird up here. I've actually got another bird down here. Uh, it's taking up a lot to maintain all these flying birds. But I would like to see the whole map as quickly as possible so I know what I'm up against. And it really shouldn't be that much of a problem. Oh, but there you can see the Azrax are just over there. Next I should take this city and wipe out this group here, though. Oh, here's something interesting. There's an Azrax city all the way down south here, and I could talk to them. Uh, oh. Oh good, another race for the humans to conquer. So there's humans as well. We the dwarves send greetings and wish lizards a lasting peace. Okay, so the dwarves and the Azraks are my friends. Okay. Um, this is getting a little bit confusing. How much gold do I need to get these guys? 138. It's gonna take me a few turns, but let's grab this watchtower. Ah, the humans are down here. Uh, and it looks like there's... um. Not that much on this aisle right here. It looks pretty abandoned. But we'll keep exploring and seeing what's around. Looks like the Azrax are all up here. And yeah, they're fighting the... These are the dwarves down here. Okay. So basically everyone's just kind of fighting each other. Let's check if anyone's allied with each other. The elves are allied with the halflings. The... Most of them haven't even met. Dwarves are allied with the halflings. So halflings have the most allies right now, okay. So overall this is gonna be a long match where we're gonna have to kill everyone basically because I don't think you can get like an allied victory in missions like this. We have to clear out the map. Ah, I made a level. Um, what else am I saving for? I guess I'll save for spellcasting 5 at this point because I'd like to have um, more mana when I'm fighting things. Let's grab that and head back towards this city because we should be able to get it pretty soon. And we'll keep exploring. I got this air node which gives me plenty of mana to play with. Well not plenty but enough. And we'll keep... Oh damn what was... They destroyed the watchtower? Wow okay. Uh, and there's more heroes and stuff going around here. We'll just keep exploring the map and hope we find some more interesting things. Okay, now it's time to take out this party right here. And I think I can automatic because all the accompanying units aren't really that powerful. So let's just see how this goes. Oh, Chain Lightning stuns everyone. Perfect. So let's finish them off. Uh, let's hope this hero doesn't have anything powerful up their sleeves. Okay, good. Now just everyone... Kill this hero. Yes, okay, good. That cleans out this island for me and I can head on to capturing these other cities while I continue to do things like this. Well, long way to go. Oh, would you look at this? There's an independent troll on the bridge. <laughs> I love that. That's a little touch that only handcrafted maps can have. I, I just love that so much. I, I know it's a minor thing. But it really uh, is quite important. Ooh, another Azrak city, which I could get for 160 gold. I'll get that next turn. Because I'm not at, currently at war with the dwarves or the Azrak, so I'm pretty safe on the eastern front. It's just the these halflings and humans which are causing some problems. There's a teleporter here, though, which I'd like to explore. And I have got this city, which I will then send this bird to continue exploring west. Ooh, an altar of fire owned by the undead, which... I probably should take because uh, I hate the undead. Alright, time to grab this city here. Ooh, a firestorm, which hit me, damn. Uh, I still don't have enough gold, I spent it all. Looks like that firestorm was used on my city here. It's not gonna do much, and just for that I'm gonna take it back from you. And 
We'll try... Oh, it's a bit dangerous to hang around here. I'll head back into the mountains. While I'm, while I'm here, do I want to keep this or do I want to raise it to the ground? There's a button right there. I guess I'll keep it alive for now because I'm not really in danger. Meanwhile, this eagle... I want to find out where this teleports to. Let's try this. I haven't seen any other teleporters around here. Oh! <laughs> it teleports right to the human capital. Well, um, a bit dangerous for this eagle to hang about here. So I guess I should um, quickly run out of this place. Uh, ooh, I can't quite get that. I could hide in the mountains. I should be safe there. But looks like the humans are all the way on this side. But if I can get people to here, I can teleport over and kill them. Okay, I've actually got a lizard city right here, which I might be able to kill these guys right here. If I attack them from this angle. And let's, uh, let's automatic this fight and just see how we do. Looks like we will lose that, but I wonder if we can kill everyone else. Looking good so far. Okay, okay. I think I think we can kill them. Oh, those worms really aren't that powerful, are they? Come on, kill the last guy. There we go. Now, they're all dead, but I can't breach the walls. Maybe I shouldn't have... Uh lost that bird, but this elephant has wall crushing. So we could go ahead and take that city pretty soon. We should bring all of our soldiers. That's a size 4 city. And we should... Uh, we could just produce a battering ram, actually. And we should probably produce a bunch of archers to help defend these cities, too. Okay, I'm gonna try kill the elves this turn. And looks like they're pretty powerful. But let's go ahead and march into their city. I want to tactical this fight and see how we can handle this. Um, let's see. I really should bring these guys up this way and meet these two groups. And then I'll have this as my specialized forces because this is where my heroes are. Okay, so they're being very conservative with their movements. But I think once we whittle down their forces, we could uh, start taking them on proper. Now my spell casting can't quite reach them yet, but I do need to deal with these guys right here. Uh, let's do this. That seems to work, and let's do that one more time. And then we can rush forward to kill these guys. Oh wow, they're using some fancy spells on my archers. Jeez, that was a little overkill. Uh, this nymph, however, has seduced my wolf rider. So we gotta deal with that. Let's see how much we can do. Um, and they're all targeting me. Okay, there we go. Wolf rider's dealt with. We can't attack this. Maybe we just do some archery against it. There we go. Now, spell casting. We don't have anything else left on this. I just realized we don't have anything to actually break down these walls, and they're not rushing out to meet us. Uh, perhaps I need to return with uh, something to actually hit them with. But I could actually, because I have wall climbing, I could just step over this wall and do some archery and see if they actually get lured out like that. Oh, well, I've actually lured one out to the door, and let's see if we can actually take this one out, because, uh... This is, this is Arnus. Arnus is not that important, but I'd like to get rid of him, yes, and are we in archery range of this one? We could just keep doing that, really. <laughs> Until, yeah, you don't have any spells left, do you? Are you actually trying to escape? I don't think that's going to work. We're just going to fill you full of arrows. And the reign of the elves. 
is over. Lendor is defeated. On day 17, the Empire of the Elves, but led by Lendor, was defeated. And we have their city and their content. Uh, we can't recruit their soldiers, but we could quite easily uh, conquer most of these cities with minimal effort. For example, I could just go ahead and take that. Oh wow, these uh, undead are swarming up from the back. Well, it's just one unit. Let's automatic this and see if we can actually take out this demon. Ah, oh, scary thing. Come on, don't die. Oh no, are we actually gonna lose this city? I can't believe we just lost that city. Ah, uh, these undead. Well, while I'm here, let's just grab this city, automatic that, and we should actually have a spell to teleport us back. Okay, let's try this. War party. Instant. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. That was the wrong spell. Uh, random location. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted town gate. Huh. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the reload moment. Okay, here we go. Town Gate is uh, gonna take one turn to cast, huh? Okay, but we're gonna teleport ourselves back here to reclaim this city. Um, meanwhile, uh, there's nothing else we can really do here. Town Gate, let's teleport ourselves back here. There we go. And we can rush down here to kill that thing. Yeah, and we should be able to deal with that pretty quickly. Meanwhile, we're just conquering what's left of the elven territories. And we can just split up some of our troops to go grab these things that we'd like to have. And we also have this undead city waiting to be attacked, so let's go finish them off. We can automatic this. We've got an elephant and a battering ram. Which knocks down the gates, no problem. Kill them. Garrison the city with everything we got. And migrate to... Who do we need down here? We could do with some lizards. No, we got lizards down here. Azrax are over there. Halflings are neutral, but I don't really want to be their friends. Let's do... Uh, it's a size 4 city. What do I really want size 4? Let's just do goblins. We don't have a size 4 goblin city, do we? All right, let's finish off this demon. That's right. Ah, oh, don't kill me. Come on, die. Yes, that takes care of you. Now let's retake our city, which I'll just use myself. Go grab that. And now to be safe, I'm gonna fill it with archers, which should protect us. And I'm also filling all these cities with archers as well, because there's this bird flying around and it's pretty annoying. Meanwhile, I'm... Still taking over this stuff, let's grab this city. And we can just automatic this battle. Yeah, we don't need to watch that. And we got a halfling city, and they're content. So to be safe, let's just fortify and fill it with archers. I think that's going to be my standard operating procedure. Uh, fortify it and fill it with archers. Ah, I made a level, so I can get spellcasting 5. Let's add that. That should unlock more spells and also allow me to cast more spells in battle. Now, where are you going, bird? Okay, I'm gonna try something quite daring. That city there is undefended. I'm gonna grab it, and then now that I'm spellcasting level 5, I can instantly cast... Um... Oh, I just realized there's different sections of... Spells, yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, global spells, I'm gonna town gate to here. Haha! <laughs> and now I'm on the undead portion of the map, and we are gonna start killing things here once we migrate this city into something that we would prefer. Oh, I found the undead leader. There he is. Shivum, is that his name? Shivum of the undead? Yeah, so he's right there. Um, looks like he's pretty well defended, but he's not sitting inside of his city, which gives me an opportunity to take him out. 
So, that's good. If we could take out the undead surgically, it would be quite good. <laughs> There's a sign here that says, The only way to you'll survive is on your knees. Well, um, that's not very pleasant. It doesn't look like there's actually much else on this island. Maybe a few mountains over there and a few undead cities. So overall, this map is actually a lot smaller than it originally seems. Uh, currently, I'm just upgrading all my cities as much as possible because I want to build the, the highest level unit. Like here, I'm going to spam a lot of gins, and I don't know if this sandworm is powerful. Now, I'm going to build a lot of gins because they're flying. I'm just going to spam them up and... When the time comes, I'm going to use them to take over the Azrax in the north. Alright, I think it's time to surgically remove Shivum, the undead leader. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to first capture this along the way. Position those troops there. Position these guys here. And I'll even include my eagle riders. And it's a bad idea for you to stand right outside of your city because I can just tactically remove you. So you're right there. Unless you start running backwards, I'm gonna be able to get you with minimal effort. Oh wow, what is that? Did that just damage every unit on the map? I hope not. Panicked, combat only. Okay, so all my units are panicked. I don't know what that does. Uh oh, lowers the unit's morale to terrible level. Defense 2, resistance minus 2. Right, okay. Well, that's Shivum there. So I want to target Shivum with everything I got. Uh, well, that didn't work out so well. Okay, good. Once Shivum is dead, we can actually leave this territory. We don't have to worry about it too much. <laughs> a bad idea for you to run yourself forward. Let's see if Shai can get him. Let's, let's hit him with an electrical charge. That didn't work. I can't hit him with my archery either. The death ray won't really work. Uh, air around the spellcaster. Looks like I'm gonna have to do another chain lightning. Uh, still not dead. Let's see if we can just hit you. Lizard swordsman, go! Nope. Uh, how about you? Can't quite reach. Let's get these other archers in range. And we can probably take you out in the next turn. Ah, uh, more dark magics being cast on my troops. But they're not dead yet, and that one's not doing too well. But, Shivum, I'm gonna take you out right here, right now. And we're gonna fill you full of arrows. Ah, that fire thing is in the way. Come on, a lucky arrow will do it. There we go, Shivum is defeated. On day 34, the Empire of the Undead led by Shivum was defeated. Now there's a lot of neutral units here, but I don't really need them. Uh, and I don't really need this city either. So I'm probably gonna ignore it for the most part. I don't need all this stuff right here. So I'll just move on to killing the next person. Okay, I'm gonna grab my hero, and I'm gonna use, uh, not warp party, town gate. And I'm gonna teleport over to here. This is why I captured these cities right here. I'm gonna take out the... Actually, no. The halflings are right here. I could just walk over to the halflings and kill them right now. That should be a good idea. Oh, would you look at that? These halflings have decided Hambinger. <laughs> Hambinger. Uh, this guy, I was just reading the Age of Wonders 3 website and Hambinger conducted an interview with the story writer. Anyway, Hambinger decided it would be a good idea to rush over here to face me. And I'm gonna show him that that wasn't a good idea. Alright, Hambinger. We're going to automatic this battle and get rid of you. Oh wow, that frost beam's pretty powerful. Never mind, let's get rid of you guys. And once the swordsmen reach you, you're going to have to kill so many guys. There we go. Hambinger, you're going down. At the expense of quite a few 
troops, I admit, but uh, nothing excessive. Uh, that's why you leave some troops at home to defend. Now, I'm gonna keep moving towards them and see if I can... Let's see, I need to spot where there he is. Murdeth, a she. Gotta take care of her. But uh, luckily for me, I'm starting to produce high level units. Over at this lizard city, I'm producing green wyverns. Over here, I'm installing karags. Here, I'm producing jinns. And over here, I'm installing nature elementals. These are all the level four, or uh, well, the maximum level upgrades for most of them. Some of them are like this level for the size three cities. And I'm also trying to upgrade this human city, but I keep running out of gold to do it. But at least I found a use for all of this gold. All right, now that I'm actually earning quite a bit of mana per turn, I'm gonna look at my spell book and see what I can cast. Um, let's see. Unholy Champion might be nice on myself. Can I not? Uh, oh, okay. Well, let's give this Wolf Rider. Why can I not cast it on these others? Uh, people. Let's have a look at what else we got. Wind walking, that'd be handy. Enchant weapon, haste. Um, let's cast enchant weapon on some stuff. Can we... Required mana. Is that also upkeep? I'm gonna give myself... Let's give enchant weapon to that. Uh, yeah, us. Let's do that. Now, the upkeep is quite low. Mana cost is relatively acceptable. Uh, anything else we could cast on ourselves? Um, Dark Gift. Death Strike. Let's try that. Uh, I want to give that to us as well. Let's do that. There. Now we're buffed up. This green wyvern should be quite powerful. And we're going to use this to destroy this army. And I kind of want this city. So I might have to kill all of these guys, or maybe I'll just give up and head. You know, play the objective, I think. Ah, Shy made a level, and uh, I don't really know what we should go for at this point. I guess we'll just save for more spell casting, because that seems to be a good idea. Oh, Evil Woods is done. Um, I'm just kind of uh, researching random things at this point, because it's not that important. But I think I want to take the city because my gold income is starting to drop a little bit because of... Uh, because uh, of all the units I'm producing. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna attack this and just automatic this battle and try and get rid of as many of these troops as possible. There are minimal losses there. Now I want to... Let's see, we can't move them. Put them here. And we can't quite... Well, we could attack this turn as well. So let's automatic this fight as well and take out that. And now, this is in war mode and there's just a f this Murdeth here, which I'd like to take on when possible. Actually, we could just do it right now, can't we? Mm, yep, yeah, there's nothing really dangerous in there. Though that wyvern is kind of damaged. I don't have any healing spells, that's unfortunate. Maybe we can wait a turn or two. Oh wow, Murdeth is actually running away, which gives me uh, this city, which is upgrading free of charge, nice. We'll let that do its thing. But now that Murdeth is running away, I think we should chase her down. Uh, ooh, we can actually reach her. Okay, let's just take on Murdeth here and we can automatic this battle. We're, we greatly outnumber them. Ooh, Frostbeam on my Wyvern. Hopefully that doesn't die, but I do have another one. Uh, that Wyvern's going down. Okay, but let's... come on. Some Chain Lightning. Take that back. And here we go. Murdeth is gonna die this turn. Yeah, full of arrows as usual. Good evade. Wow, all those... All those arrows missed. There we go. 
Murdeth is defeated. On day 45, the Empire of the Halflings led by Murdeth was defeated. And that, uh, I lost a wyvern, but I actually have another one right here, and I'm producing more. There's another one to replace. Oh, and I've also got a Karag. I think what I can do is I'll teleport... Oh, that thing moves fast. I'll build up some large units here and teleport over here and teleport back to retrieve them. For now, I'd like to go grab that city over there, which is minimally defended. Oh, wow. Shockwave can be used to damage walls. I just noticed that. Did you see that? You learn things from automatic battles. Oh, the Azraks prefer war to peace with such lizards as yourselves. I guess it's because uh, uh, there's not that many people left on the map. But I got Trontum here, and I got three guys left to kill. Not that many, but still enough to be annoying. For the good of both of dwarves and lizards, let us combine our efforts in an alliance. Okay, let's accept an alliance with the dwarves. There we go. Um, so if we're allied, maybe there is allied victory. But we gotta kill the Azraks and the humans still. Uh, humans are down there and Azraks are up here. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teleport. Let's see where we are. We're gonna town gate over to here where I'm going to join up with my high-level units, the Karags and Green Wyverns. And in the next turn, I'm going to get a few more of those. And then we're going to teleport back over here, where I'm producing a ship here. We'll transport over to this side. And I guess we can go kill the humans pretty fast. Okay, I've picked up the high-level units, and now let's teleport Town Gate over to here. Boom, and there we are. We're walking across our lizard men and picking up all the soldiers we need. Let's regroup the important units and uh, let's see. I'll take the wolf rider as well. Oh, can actually fit one more. We'll put one of these. And we can now have three eight sized armies. And we're gonna go kill the humans as they only have one city left. And I even got a green wyvern over here just to back it up. Oh wow, would you look at this? The dwarves might just go ahead and kill the humans. So, um, for now, I'm just gonna head back. Oh, wyvern, teleport over here. I'll join up with my main group, which uh, is basically filled with wyverns and a carag. And the rest of us can head north to kill the Azraks. We'll just hang around here a little while and see if these guys can actually destroy the humans, or at least weaken them. Oh, is this actually... Oh, they're fighting! The, the, the dwarves and the humans. Let's see how much damage they can do. I didn't realize they would actually show me the battle when they they fight against heroes. Uh, this is gonna make my job so much easier. And I'm not sure if they're gonna win, but there's not gonna be many of them left. Come on, kill that human. Okay, okay, there's just a few left. It's just them left, really, and a couple swordsmen. One swordsman left, and now it's just the heroes. He's dead, and, uh, the dwarves are gonna win. Ardanos is defeated on day 52. The Empire of the Humans led by Ardanos was defeated. Now let's hope the dwarves don't turn on me, because right now I'm pretty sure we there is allied victory, as long as... I actually read online that for an allied victory, you don't just have to be allies with everyone. All of your allies need to be allied with each other. So that's quite a feat, but... We're just gonna march north here. Seems like their main army is already hanging around here, but I don't know where the leader is. Uh, what's his name? Brack of the Azrax. Uh, we're gonna have to go find him. Ah, there he is. Is that him? Brack of the Azrax. Yes, I just flew my summoned eagle all the way up here and captured a little city. 
which wasn't any problem. So if we get past this army, it doesn't look like he's got much left over. But actually, now that that city is mine, I could just... Ooh, my army is looking pretty powerful. I can use my spell casting and town gate over to here. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Now I just have to go kill him and we should win the game. Ah, uh, look, looks like he's trying to recall some troops, but that's not gonna work. Now, I have pretty much all flying units, and this Karag, can he break down walls? No, he can't, but he's pretty powerful. Okay, let's do this then. I'm gonna come from this side to avoid attracting these two guys, and we're gonna tactical fight. Brack, you're going down. Now, we just have to kill him, and... Considering how many dragons we have, we can probably just rush up and kill him. But let's try do this a little smartly. Now, how far can these guys go? Quite far. We're gonna get them onto this right side to fly over and kill him. Alright, while we're at it, let's train up this Karag a little bit. Ah, oh, he's so powerful! Uh, Frog Rider, you can stay there. Spellcasting, let's try stun these guys if possible. I just don't want them causing any problems. Let's Chain Lightning you again. Let's start with you. <laughs> they all just die. Now, Green Wyverns. Ah, oh, just out of range. We'll just... Oh, no, this one can hit you. Ah. Okay, he's pretty tough, but we can get him. Now let's just move him there. Now, four green wyverns. You can't fight back against that. Nice try. Yeah, yeah, move up your soldiers. You should just give up now. Oh, wow! Smart spell to use. An explosion spell. But it's not gonna work. Wow, he's got good dodge. My dragons just can't hit him. Really? We can't get him at all? That is insane. Well, let's um, kill this guy and we'll move on up to start casting some spells at him. Alright, let's try some spell casting. Death Ray, can I get you from here? It's blocked 100% by this dragon. Let's see, we'll attack. And see if you die? No. We'll just hit you with all the dragons again. Come on, the dragons definitely can hit you. Are you serious? There we go. We actually can hit you. Well, let's do another spell casting here. Chain lightning on you. That goes right through anything. Nope, can't hit you with that. Let's try again. Chain Lightning. Ah, that hit you. Okay, now you're stunned, and we're gonna kill you next round. Come on, then. Yeah, yeah, you try that. Okay, now you're dead. Jeez, he's so evasive. What makes him so evasive? Brack, what about these stats makes it difficult to hit him? I don't understand. Hmm. Well, let's hit you. There we go, Brack is defeated. On day 54, the Empire of the Azraks, led by Brack, was defeated. And looks like it's not a uh, allied victory because we're gonna have to go kill the dwarves now, wherever he is. Where is he? We should have shared vision. Oh, he's right here. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to teleport back and get that guy. Um, no, we can't recruit these, but I really want this city, so let's automatic this fight and take that back. Now, we actually lost two dragons, but never mind. Ah, Shy made a level, and we can add spellcasting three. We regret the need to annul our alliance, but at this time it cannot be sustained. Um, right, the neutral ships, damn it. Well, uh, it just so happens that all these troops are right near the dwarf leader. So, uh, bad idea declaring war on me, because I'm just gonna go kill you next turn with all of this stuff. And over here... Oh, that's still in a state of war. 
Jeez, neutral units. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here. We don't even need this city. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna teleport Town Gate over to here. Well, you neutrals can have that. I just want to win the game. The prize of peace with the lizards is too much. The dwarves declare war. Okay. Um, I was just about to do the same thing. Here, let's automatic this fight. Oh, look at all the gins I produced. Stoning, yeah. <laughs> oh, the dwarf guy's stoning. Um, well, never mind. Let's just, um... Hey. Is it glitched? Can we not win? Strange, let's close that. Can these djinns not fly over and kill him? Let's try... Well, okay, fine. If you're gonna be like that, let's do things the proper way. I'm gonna bring myself over. Alright, town gate's ready, and I'm transporting over a bunch of Karags. There's four more Karags, which we're just gonna... Oh, they even have more movement points than I do. Wow, nice. And it's... What? What is being captured all over the place? Um... Oh, it's all the stuff over here which I used to own. Oh, well, that's fine. You can have that. Uh, I'm just gonna... Join up all my parties here and kill you once they're fully healed. Oh, actually an opportunity has appeared. Uh, these soldiers are on the outside. If I attack them, it'll pull in these troops from the inside. So let's try this. I'm gonna attack with this and automatic this. And this should draw out... Yeah, the heroes are outside the gates. This is tactics in Age of Wonders. Yeah, come on. Let's just do as much damage as we can. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage to me. There we go. I <laughs> just shoot all those magic bolts. Okay, come on. Jins, Jins aren't the most powerful. Oh, there we go, there we go. Killing him, killing him. He's not the final guy though, I think that's the final guy. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, doing a lot of damage, but these Jins are gonna lose. Oh, 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 he's gonna die. Ah, it's a swordsman. Okay, okay, a bit more. There we go, he's dead! Ha ha! Now, Angras is defeated. On day 58, the Empire of the Dwarves, led by Angras, was defeated. And, Gamerzak of the Lizards, you were victorious. Now, that was actually a pretty challenging mission with so many races around, but as you can see, I completely dominated it over time. Me building all of those really powerful units towards the end really helped actually. Anyway, that's the end of this mission. I'll see you in the next video.